This is Tom within our student center on campus. As you can see on this portion closest to us, that is our career center that is available to all of our students here on campus, whether they are currently enrolled or have just graduated. They can help all of our students find jobs, internships here on campus, off campus during the school year, over the summer as well. They have also have resume building workshops for all of our students to brush up on any of their current resumes or get started with a brand new one. And our career center will also host resume challenges throughout the year here for students to stop by, submit the resumes, and if they get selected as sort of being the best of the best for that group, it gets put out into a large space where companies like Nike or Adidas can see those resumes and potentially hire those students post-college. Right over here we have our bookstore sells all sorts of loose and Clark apparel from shirts to jackets, sweatshirts, sweatpants, socks, hats, pens, pencils, cups, mugs, water bottles, pretty much anything we could fit an LC logo on, it is sold in here. We also sell school supplies, snacks, and drinks as well. And on the back two walls are every textbook you could ever need for any one of your classes. We also have our rent and buyback program and we'll price match as well. Over here is one of our dining halls on campus. This is the trail room. However, a lot of our students just call this place the Troom. It mostly serves lunch events here on campus, but they might throw in some breakfast stuff as well. So serves typical cafeteria style foods. You'll see hamburgers, pizza, pasta sandwiches, all sorts of snacks and drinks as well. They use this space right over here for seating. A lot of our clubs use this space too. Games Club meets in here every Friday nights at 7. There's also a small little stage at the back as well for students to put on their own performances. So at Lewis and Clark, we have about 2,100 students here in our undergraduate population with about a 60 to 40 female to male ratio. So our feminist student union here is one of our largest on campus. They work to prevent classism, sexism, racism, other forms of oppression while mixing their own events as well. They will throw in some fun stuff too. They might throw in movie nights, yoga nights, craft nights, all sorts of opportunities for our students. And they have a 100% confidentiality policy. So if a student were to enter for any reason whatsoever and speak with any of the trained students, faculty, or staff inside, nothing they say would ever leave this room or the person that they speak with. Down this way, over here is the Multicultural Resource Center, a space for a lot of our multicultural students to come hang out, get away from the everyday college life, relax in the space that they can call their own. Right over here, this is our Queer Student Union and Disabled Student Union. QSU provides a safe space for LGBTQI plus students here on campus. DSU provides a space for all of our disabled students to help with their concerns, answer any questions, get help with anything at all. Both these offices are almost always supporting some sort of national month or week with programs that surround that, but they have their own that they run as well. One of our beloved student programs here on campus is called Gagged. It's a drag show that we host in one of our rooms upstairs. This office space will also provide health care options and counseling services for students here on campus, and they share that 100% confidentiality policy. Over here, this is ASLC, or the Associated Students of Lewis and Clark. This is our student government. They're elected democratically and host all sorts of events here on campus. They also work directly with SAB, our Student Acad Academic Affairs Board, which is our tutoring program here, which gives students free tutoring to use any certain subject or subjects that they might need help in, up until about that 300 level for courses here. <laughs> This is one of the more unique offices on campus. This is KLC, our student-run radio station. They can broadcast 24-7 over the internet, and they give students up to an hour of airtime. To use per week, if they wanted to host their own radio show, podcast, DJ for an hour, something like that. This here is the heart of Templeton, where we have a lot of our clubs, student unions, and student-related offices. One of the most important here on campus is called IME. That stands for the Office of Inclusion and Multicultural Engagement. They work with all students, faculty, and staff here on our undergraduate campus to promote diversity through their woke shop and r, &R programs. They also will work with several of our student unions throughout the year as well. Right over here, we have our Black Student Union, and also down this hallway, Gente Latina Unida, our Latinx Student Union. These both will host several programs throughout the year here, sometimes solo, in association with other events here on campus, and then during their respective history months as well. They will also host several large events for all of our students here. Also down this way is the office for the Pioneer Log, that is our student-run newspaper. They host a bi-weekly publication here on campus, a couple other journals for students to participate in as well. Their office space is open for students to stop by, participate in an article, write one of their own, or maybe uh, join the full-time staff. The very last office down here is SLS, Student Leadership and Service. That is our community service program. As a part of new student orientation, all of our incoming first-year students are required to do one day of service. Whether that is helping out here on campus or maybe downtown at the local book bank or animal shelter, it's all put on by SLS. Right over here, this is the one, one of the more unique offices on campus. This is College Outdoors. They run over 100 programs third our year here that go all across Oregon, Washington, California. And we also have a winter break program that goes down to Florida as well. But as you can see by the numerous photos along our wall here, 
They host several outdoor activities from hiking to backpacking, snowshoeing, kayaking, whitewater rafting, surfing, canoeing, wilderness first responder training, mushroom hunting, yoga retreats, birding, pretty much anything you could think to do outdoors. College Outdoors also runs a very cool program called NSTs or New Student Trips. Those are available to all of our incoming first year and transfer students here. If you were to sign up for one of those new student trips, it would be you and about 20 to 25 other new students heading on a five day trip somewhere in Oregon or Washington. A couple more things with College Outdoors, the one of which is Sequoia. That is a warehouse on our graduate campus that CU uses to store all of our, their outdoor gear from boots to water bottles, wetsuits, kayaks, avalanche safety gear, pretty much anything you could ever need. For any one of your trips, it's in there, available for students to use. You can also rent their gear out over weekends and for your own trips as well. Right over here, this is our mail room. It's a fully functioning post office. Students can send and receive packages, letters, ship them all across the U.S. internationally as well. Students are given a mailbox during their first year here, and they keep that same mailbox for as long as they are a student here. And as you can see, a couple of people have customized them. Right here we also have a Mac lab. There's a PC lab through the black door that is at the back. <laughs> Both of these are typically open 24 hours a day unless there's a class or some other event happening inside. 